Hi, my name is Sue Webb and I'll be bringing you mindful movement yoga today. And mindful movement is just having awareness to our body and to our breath as we move the body around. And what you can expect from this class are some standing poses, seated poses, We'll do some poses on our hands and knees and some poses on our backs. So anytime we're in a position that doesn't work for you, then we can find another position. So in a standing posture, if you need to stay seated, grab a chair. If you're in a standing posture and your balance is a little shaky, maybe standing next to a wall or a chair next to your mat. And then when you're down on the mat, feel free to grab any props that you like to practice with. If you have tender knees, when we're on our hands and knees, feel free to grab a blanket or a towel that's folded up. And you can practice on a yoga mat, you could practice on a blanket or a towel, just any flat surface where you have some space for movement. All right, so let's get started. I'm excited. Grab your yoga mat or your towel and your blanket and some comfy clothes, and here we go. So coming to a comfortable standing position on your mat or your towel or your blanket, your eyes can be open or closed, and just bring your attention to the bottoms of your feet your feet making contact with the earth. Your eyes can be open or closed, just letting your breath flow in and out your nose. So your breath flowing in and out your nose, not trying to change anything about your breath, just breathing in and breathing out. Feeling the coolness of the inhales in your nostrils and the warmth of the exhales as the air leaves your body. Maybe you can feel that temperature difference in your inhales and your exhales. Now start to shift your weight side to side, shifting over to your right, then coming back through center and shifting over to your left, your arms just comfortably down by your sides. Feel your weight moving across the bottoms of your feet. And come back to center and shift your weight forward onto your toes. So far forward that it feels like you're going to fall over, but try not to. And then come back through center and then leaning back into your heels, maybe leaning back so far that your toes lift off the ground. And come back to center. And then press your feet down into the ground as you get tall through the crown of the head, maybe lifting up all 10 of your toes and can you place them down one at a time? Beautiful. Now imagine that your arms are just empty sleeves hanging off of your body and start to turn your shoulders side to side, just letting your empty arm sleeves just twirl out on your sides, twisting side to side, feeling the body twist and move, feeling your arms moving through space, maybe taking your twist bigger and bringing your hands to the body and just giving little taps to your body as you twist side to side here. back to center. I hear my knees popping. You might hear them popping too. Come back to center and again press the feet into the ground as you get tall through the crown of the head. Arms by the sides with the palms facing up. On your inhale reach your arms up. Bring the fingertips to touch overhead. Then turn the palms down. Exhale, bring the arms back down by the sides. Fingertips touch the thighs. Flowing with your breath. Inhale, reach the arms up. Fingertips touch. And exhale, bring the arms back down. Let's take three more of these standing sun breaths. On your inhales, reach the arms up overhead, bringing the fingertips to touch. 
exhale, bringing the arms back down by the sides, fingertips touch the thighs. Keep flowing with your breath. Up on the inhales. And down on the exhales. Maybe close your eyes, feeling your hands and arms move through space. Can you feel your feet on the ground, your breath moving through your body? Feeling your arms move through space. One more here, please. Inhale, reach it up. And bring the arms back down, bringing the arms back down by the sides. Feel your breath moving through your body. Relaxing from the top of the head down, relaxing the muscles behind the ears. Feeling that relaxation come down the neck and to the shoulders, arms, hands, and fingers. Then letting go in your belly here, letting your belly rise on the inhales and fall on the exhales. Feel the movement of your breath as it flows through your body. Moving into a breath practice, a pranayama practice. This is called breath of joy. It's an up-regulating practice, so it's an energizing practice. I'll give instructions for the practice, then we'll take a couple of cleansing breaths, and then we'll start the practice. So the instructions for the practice are we're going to take three short inhales. It's a three-part inhale to fill the lungs up, and then we'll take and exhale out the mouth. You could make a sound even as you exhale. And we add arm movements in with the breath. So with that three-part inhale, the arms come out in front, then out to the side, then they come up in front and overhead. Then on the exhale, they drop down in front of your body. So I'll demonstrate one here, we go. Okay, I demonstrated two. All right, so let's take a couple of cleansing breaths before we start. So a cleansing breath is a big inhale through the nose and exhale it out the mouth. One more, inhale through the nose and exhale it out the mouth. And we'll start our breath of joy. Inhale three times. And exhale. Again, inhale, arms out in front, then sides, then up overhead, and exhale, arms down in front. Three more. Finish that exhale, bringing your arms down by the side. Then notice what you feel. Maybe you feel some tingling. Maybe you feel some heat that you've generated in your body by moving the arms and increasing your inhales. Now let's make our way down to a comfortable seat. So feel free to grab any props 
to make the seated position more comfortable. You could sit on a rolled up blanket or couch cushion. You could sit with the legs crossed in an easy seat. If this doesn't work for your knees or your hips, you could bring your feet back, sitting back on your heels. You could have a blanket under your hips here also. You could also just be sitting in a chair. So you may notice here I have uh, my notes here next to me. I've designed this class especially for this project. So I have my notes close by so I don't forget anything and stay on point. Coming into your seat of choice, I'm going to choose to sit cross-legged here. And then bringing your hands to a comfortable position on your lap and sitting with a long, tall spine in an upright position, but trying not to be uptight. So just letting a sense of ease just wash over the body as you sit comfortably. Feeling your, your sitting bones or maybe the bottoms of your feet touching the floor. And we're gonna lean over to the right side. Lean over to the right as far as you can without falling over and feel the weight shift over onto your right hip, noticing the work the left side has to do. Feel the work the right side is doing and come back to center and then shift it over to the left side, leaning over to the left as far as you can. Again, feeling the weight shifting across your body, feeling both sides, the right side, the left side, and then coming back to center. Bring your arms out by the sides. Inhale, reach the arms up, palms together overhead. And hands down to heart center. Bring your right hand down to the mat outside the right hip, left arm out to the left side, reach the left arm up overhead. We're gonna lean over to the right for a side stretch. And as you reach here, really rooting that left sitting bone down into the mat as you reach the left arm over, stretching down that side, feeling the breath moving through the body. Maybe noticing how the stretch feels on the inhales, the ribs expanding. Come back to center. Bring that left hand down to the mat next to the left hip. Reach the right arm up to the sky. Press down into the hips. Reach the right arm up and exhale. Side bend to the left. Reaching the right arm over to the left side as you root the right sitting bone down into the mat. Feel the stretch down the left side. The breath flowing in and out the nose. Come back to center, reaching both arms up overhead. And bringing the hands down to heart center into Anjali Mudra. Now bring your right hand behind the right hip and the left hand to the outside of the right knee or top of the right knee. And turn your chin towards your right shoulder. And we'll start to twist to the right. We'll make this a gentle twist. Think about getting tall through the crown of the head on your inhales as you lengthen through the spine and exhale, just softening into the twist. Inhale. Lengthen through the spine. Exhale, soften into the twist. One more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, soften. Untwisting, coming back to center. Left hand behind the left hip. Right hand comes outside the left knee. Turn the chin towards the left shoulder and start to take a gentle twist to the left. Following the breath in and out the nose. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head. Exhale, soften into the twist. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, soften. One more. Inhale, lengthen. 
Exhale, soften. Untwisting, coming back to center. Arms out by the side, reach the arms up overhead. Then bring the hands down to the floor in front of you and start to walk the hands out, folding over the legs. You can drop the chin to the chest here. Feeling the stretch in the back of the body, feeling the stretch in the hips. Walking the hands back towards the body. Bring the hands behind the hips. If you're sitting in a cross leg position, switch which leg is in front. If you're not sitting in a cross leg, then you don't need to switch your legs. Inhale, reach the arms up. Bring the hands down to the floor in front of you. Walk it out, folding over the legs with the other leg in front. Dropping the chin to the chest and breathing. Maybe here, feeling the breath in the back of the body as the ribs expand on the inhales and soften on the exhales. Walking the hands back to the body. Now bringing the hands to a comfortable place on your lap. Drop your chin to your chest. Feel the weight of the head being pulled down by gravity. Your breath flowing in and out your nose. On an inhale, roll the head up to the right side, bringing your right ear over your right shoulder. Then drop the chin down to the chest and roll the head up to the left side, left ear over left shoulder. Continue to take these half circles with your head side to side. And then track the sensations in your neck as you move your head side to side, noticing when the sensations change from one side of the body to the other side of the body. If it feels okay to your body, you could take this movement into full circles with the head. Again, tracking the sensations as you move the head around, feeling the sensations on the left side of the neck, then when do they change to the right side of the neck? If you're making full circles with your head, change the direction of your circles. Just noticing if circling the head around in this direction feels any differently than in the other direction. So in mindful movement, we're just noticing how things are. We're not noticing things to make any changes or to make any judgment. We're just being present with our experience as it happens. And we'll meet with chin to chest. Again, feeling gravity pulling the weight of the head down. And bringing the head back up to center. Start to take some big, slow rolls with the shoulders. My ego likes to think that I am making perfect circles with my shoulders. They're certainly not circles. Now, maybe you want to change the direction of your circles and circle them forward. Come back to stillness. Let's set our perfect posture. On an inhale, bring the shoulders high up by the ears. Exhale, roll the shoulders back, drop them down, squeezing the shoulder blades together across the pack. 
pulling the shoulders back and lengthening through the crown of the head as you root down through the seat. Maybe close the eyes and just feel the energy that it takes to sit in this engaged position. Feeling the breath moving through the body, flowing in and out the nose. Beautiful. Let's make our way onto hands and knees, tabletop. So again, if you have sensitive knees, uh, putting a blanket, a folded up blanket or towel under the knees here is really kind to yourself. So we are bringing our wrists directly under the shoulders and the knees directly under the front hip points. Our fingers are spread wide here. Your breath flowing in and out your nose. On an inhale, we're coming into cow pose. Lift the tail, drop the belly, shine your heart forward and look up. Your hands are pulling back towards the knees without actually moving, lengthening through the neck. On an exhale, cat pose. Tuck the tail, rounding through the spine. Chin coming to chest, pressing into the hands. Feel the shoulder blades opening across the back. And coming back to neutral, neutral spine. And make your way onto your back, please. So coming to your seat with your legs bent, feet out in front, bring your hands to the backs of your thighs to support your descent down, rolling down slowly, one vertebra at a time. Feeling your shoulder blades make contact, then bringing your arms and hands down by your sides in a comfortable position. So again, your legs are bent, feet on the floor, your feet about hip width apart, and your knees are over your ankles. Your breath flowing in and out your nose. And scan the back side of your body to identify the parts of your body that are making contact with the floor. So feel the back of the head and the pressure, the shoulder blades, Noticing which parts of your back are making contact and which parts of your back are lifted due to the natural curvature in your spine. Feeling the weight in your hips and feeling the bottoms of your feet on the mat. Your breath flowing in and out your nose. Bring your arms out to your sides in a T-shape with your palms down. Keeping your legs bent and feet on the floor, but taking your feet out wider than your hips. They can go as wide as your mat. You could even take them out so wide that only your toes, your big toes are left on the mat. Then we're gonna drop both bent knees over to the right. And then bring both knees back up pointing towards the sky and then drop both knees over to the left. Taking these knee windshield wipers side to side. Inhale, knees up. Exhale, knees to the right. Inhale, knees up. Exhale, knees to the left. And if you'd like to, you can add a neck turn here, turning the head the opposite direction of the knees. So knees go right, head turns left and head back up to center, the knees to the left and turning the head and looking right and coming back to center. Continue to take these windshield wipers side to side. And maybe you wanna focus on feeling the weight move across the bottoms of your feet. You 
you could focus on the sensations in the stretching in the hip flexors as that inside knee gets closer towards the ground. Let's take it one more time to each side. Bringing everything back to center, heel toeing your feet back into about hip width, taking a full body stretch, reaching the arms back overhead, reaching the feet forward, taking up as much space as you can here, maybe arching the back, lifting up, big stretch, and then knees and towards the chest and take your time here bending one leg setting the foot down then bending the other leg and setting the foot down then picking up the right foot and then the left foot bringing the knees and towards the chest hands can come to the front of the legs and maybe you'd like to rock side to side here giving the low back a massage Feeling the weight move across the back of your body. And coming back to center, bring both hands to the front of the right knee and set the left foot down. Feel that left foot make contact with the mat. Then pull the right knee in towards the chest as close as is comfortable. And you can start to take some circles with the right foot getting some movement in the ankle. Again, like we did with the neck, track the sensations as you turn the foot around, feeling the left side of the leg, the outside of the leg, the foot, the ankle, and then change the direction of your circles. back to a still neutral foot and just notice how your weight has shifted over towards the left as you have that right knee in towards the chest. All noticing here how this position, this pose affects your breath. Maybe it's a little harder to get a full deep breath in. noticing the breath and the body in different positions. Feeling the hands on the front of the right leg. Release the leg. Down, feel the right contact with the mat. Let's take a full body stretch between sides, reaching the arms back and the feet forward. Big stretch, inhale here. And exhale, knees and toward the chest. Again, take your time with this. The transitions here are just as important as the poses. Again, taking that low back massage by rocking the knees side to side. Release the right leg. Set the right foot down, bringing both hands to the front of the left knee. Pulling the left knee in as far as is comfortable and then taking circles with the left foot. Tracking the sensations in the outside of the leg, the inside of the leg, the ankle, the left foot, and then change the direction of your circles. And here I've got another poppy body part here. Back to neutral, feeling the weight across the hips, noticing how the breath is flowing in and out the nose. Feeling the hands on the left leg, then releasing the hands, bringing the hands down to the mat and setting the left foot back down. So coming back to our constructive rest pose, knees bent, feet on the floor, arms down by the sides, 
your breath flowing in and out your nose. So notice how your body feels here. Feel the body on the floor. Feel the bottoms of the feet making contact. Now we're going to take a slow transition off of our back. So rolling over to one side, either side. I'm gonna roll over to my right hip. You could place your head on your arm, bending your knees, maybe pulling them up towards your chest. Bring your top hand to the floor in front of your navel. Press into that top hand to rise back up and we'll come back onto our hands and knees. Again, take the time to get your props to be comfortable here. So we'll come back to the cat cow that we did. This time we'll flow with the breath. So on an inhale, lift the tail, drop the belly, shine the heart forward and look up. Exhale, cat, tuck the tail, rounding the spine, chin to chest. Keep flowing with your breath here. Inhale, cow, and exhale, cat. Maybe close your eyes and link movement with breath. Can you make the length of your movement last the length of your breath? One more round of cat cow. Inhale, cow, really lengthening through the crown of the head. Exhale, cat, rounding, lifting through the belly, opening up the back and coming back to a neutral spine. Child's pose, bring your big toes to touch. Your knees can go out wide, maybe they go as wide as your mat and then sit your hips back to the heels, bringing your upper body down towards the floor. And then you can walk your hands towards the front of your mat to really get an extra stretch down the side, bringing your forehead to the mat. Or you can bring your arms outside of your legs, your hands back towards your feet and let the upper body rest. And here in child's pose, come back to the breath. Where do you feel your breath? Maybe you feel the breath in your belly as it rises and falls against your thighs. Maybe you feel your breath in your back as your ribs expand on the inhales and soften on the exhales. Just find your breath, feel your breath, and follow your breath in and out your nose. It's really normal for our minds to get distracted by other things outside of our yoga practice going back into the past or worrying about the future. So here in this mindful movement yoga, we want to use patience and love to bring our attention back to the breath, back to the body and the pose on the mat, back to our yoga practice, trying to be present in the moment. One more breath here, please. Bring your hands under your shoulders, press into the hands and lift the hips up, coming back onto all fours into tabletop. We're going to be making our way to a forward fold at the top of the mat. We're going to make our way there slowly and mindfully. So shifting your weight over into your left hand, into your left knee, picking up the right knee, stepping the right foot between the hands as best you can. You can even use your hand to move your leg there. Your hands are framing your right foot 
and tuck your left toes. Feel the left toes on the mat. Press into the toes to lift that left knee up and step the left foot up to meet the right, coming into a ragdoll forward fold at the top of the mat with the head and the arms heavy. Your feet can be close together. They could be hip width apart. If your hamstrings are tight like mine, maybe you want to heel toe the feet out even wider and feel free to have a lot of bend in your knees here. You could hold on to opposite arms and sway side to side. Maybe you can feel the back of the body opening and releasing with every breath. Now, if you reach for opposite arms, release your hands, bring them down to the mat. If you took your feet out wide, heel toe them back in so that they're under your hips or closer. Keeping your head and your arms heavy will take a slow spinal roll up. So press into the feet. Keep your knees bent a little or a lot. Pull the belly up and in. And again, keep the head and arms soft as you slowly roll up to standing, one vertebra at a time. Feel the vertebra stack on top of the one below it as you rise up to standing, arms by the side with the palms facing forward. On an inhale, reach the arms up, bring the palms together overhead. Then you can press into the palms, press into the feet, then take a side bend over to the right. Feel the weight shifting across the feet. Feel the stretch down the left side, lengthening through the right side as you stretch the left side. Notice how this affects your breath. Come back through center, inhale, reach it up as you press down into the feet. Exhale, take it over to the left, crescent moon to the left, pressing into the right foot, feeling the stretch down the right side as you lengthen through the left side. Come back up to center and bring your hands down to heart center into Anjali Mudra. And now we'll take a balancing practice. So again, if you are more comfortable taking a balancing practice next to a wall or with a chair, please feel free to grab those now. And then start to shift around on your feet and then find center. So with our balance practice, we want to Build up our base to be strong and steady. So pressing into the feet, strong legs, strong core, long, tall spine. And then you need a focal point. So choose a focal point that's at a distance in front of you that is not moving. Keep your gaze on that point as you move your body. So shift your weight into your right foot. Inhale, lift the left knee up. Then open it out to the side, coming into tree pose. That left foot can tap down next to the right foot or come along the right leg, anywhere except against the knee. Pressing the foot into the leg and the leg into the foot. Pressing the right foot into the mat as you get tall through the crown of the head. Maybe you want to challenge your balance more and reach the arms up, growing your tree branches up towards the sky. Now notice in this challenging balance pose if you're holding your breath or if your breath is still flowing. Notice all the work that right foot, that right ankle is doing to keep you up. And release, bringing that Knee back up to center, setting it down, arms down by the side, shake it out. This is a very important yoga pose here. Shake that out, the arms, the legs. And then we come back to center. So building again from the ground up, feet about hip width apart, strong legs, strong core, long, tall spine. Bring your hands to heart center. 
Get your focal point. Keep your gaze there. Shift your weight into your left foot. Lift the right knee up and then out, bringing that foot to your desired location on this side. Again, it can come down next to the left foot or anywhere along the left leg. And then notice how this pose affects your breath. Maybe growing your tree branches up towards the sky. Noticing the work that the left foot and the left leg is doing to keep you from falling over. And step outs and wiggles or, and wobbles, those are all good things. Those are strengthening our stabilizers, release, bring that knee up and then down, and then shake it out. All right, we're gonna make our way back down. So standing at the top of your mat, arms by the sides. Inhale, reach the arms up to extended mountain. Your gaze can come up to the thumbs. Exhale, forward fold. You could take a reverse swan dive here, hinging at the hips. Plant the hands, step it back to tabletop. Hands and knees and shifting the hips over, bringing the feet around and making your way back onto your back, please. So knees bent, feet on the floor, hands can come to the back of the thighs again as you slowly descend down one vertebra at a time. Meeting in constructive rest pose, knees bent, feet on the floor, arms down by the sides, your breath flowing in and out your nose. Feel your right foot making contact with the mat. Pick up the right foot, cross the right ankle over the left thigh and flex the right foot, coming into reclined figure four. Again, noticing how your weight has shifted across the back side of your body. Now feel your left foot on the mat. Then we pick up the left foot, right hand reaches between the legs, your hands coming to the back of the left thigh or front of the left shin. And breathing, so breathing in and out the nose. Notice where you feel this pose, reclined half pigeon. The intended stretch is in the outside of the right hip. Maybe you also feel some tension in the low back or maybe some tightness in the shoulders and the arms. Feeling the right leg, the right foot making contact with the left leg. Feeling hands on the front of the left leg or the back of the left leg. and start to follow your breath. Follow your inhales from your nostrils to your right hip and follow your exhales from your right hip to your nostrils. And inhales are blowing up a balloon, creating space in your right hip. Imagine that your inhales are blowing up a balloon, creating space in your right hip, and your exhales are releasing tension and stress out of the body. Just being with the breath, being with the sensations of the pose. Be here for two more breaths. Now think about moving out of the pose before you actually make any movement. So feeling the hands on the left leg and then 
releasing the hands and setting the left foot down. Feel left foot make contact, then uncrossing the right leg, setting the right foot down. Feel the right leg, right foot make contact. Let's take a full body stretch between sides, reaching the arms back, the feet forward. Big stretch. Then we can bring those knees into the chest again, releasing the low back, maybe rocking back and forth. Meeting back in our starting position in constructive rest. Knees bent, feet on the floor, arms down by the sides, feet about hip width apart. Feeling the left foot on the mat, picking up the left foot, crossing left ankle over right thigh, left foot is flexed, feeling the right foot making contact with the mat, then picking up the right foot, reaching the left hand between the legs, bringing the hands to the back of the right thigh or front of the right shin, and breathing. Noticing what you feel. Do you feel opening in the left hip? Do you feel tightness anywhere? Breath flowing in and out the nose. Feeling the hands on the right leg, feeling the left foot making contact with the right thigh. Maybe pressing the left elbow into the left knee. Noticing how your weight is distributed across your back. And then again, we can follow the breath in and out of the body, following the inhales from the nostrils into the left hip and following the exhales from the left hip to the nostrils. Breathing in to create space like blowing up a balloon, breathing out to release tension and stress out of the body. Feel the breath flowing in and out. Two more breaths here, please. And bring your attention to your hands, holding your right leg. Release the hands, set the right foot down. Uncross the left, set the left foot down. And what is the body asking for here? Maybe a full body stretch. Maybe those knee windshield wipers would feel good to you. Take whatever movement here would be a nice release for the hips and the back. Meeting back in constructive rest pose with knees bent, feet on the floor, and feet about hip width apart. Our arms are going to be out to the sides in a T-shape with the palms down. Reclined spinal twist. You can press into the feet to shift the hips over to the left an inch or two, and then drop the knees to the right. You could pick up the feet, knees, and towards the chest, and drop both legs over to the right. If you want a deeper twist than that, you could cross the left leg over to the right, over the right, and bring the knees down to the right side. So find your desired amount of twist that feels good to your body here. If you'd like, you could turn the head and look towards the left hand. And notice how the twist affects your breath. Twists also give us the opportunity to have more awareness to the insides of our bodies. So maybe you can feel the compression in your organs here. A few more breaths. Uncross the leg if it's crossed. Bring both knees back to center 
and then we'll drop both knees over to the left. Again, you can press into the feet to recenter the hips, maybe shift the hips over to the right, and then drop the knees to the left. You could bring the knees in towards the chest first and then drop them to the left. You could cross the right leg over the left to intensify the twist. You could turn the head and look towards the right. And breathe. Notice where you feel the sensations in the body in the twist. The back of the body, the front of the body. Do you feel anything in the legs, the arms, the chest? A few more breaths this direction, please. Cross the right leg if it's crossed. Bring everything back to center. Meeting back in our constructive rest pose. Knees bent, feet on the floor, arms down by the sides. Feel your feet making contact with the mat. And pick up the right foot. Then pick up the left foot. Then reach both feet to the sky. You can leave your arms down by the sides for more support, or you can also then reach hands up to the sky for yin dead bug. This is great for circulation. This is also a great pose to release unwanted energy or anything else you don't want to hold on to by shaking your arms and legs and feet. And coming back into stillness, feel the tingling, anything else you feel in the body. And bring the arms back down by the side, bend the legs, bring the feet back down. And it is time for Shavasana, our final resting pose. So make yourself comfortable on your mat using any extra props to get comfortable. You could have a bolster or a pillow under the knees. You could have a rolled up blanket supporting the neck. You could keep the knees bent and feet on the floor. You could even take Shavasana in a seated position. So find the position that's comfortable for you. You can tuck the shoulder blades under, letting the shoulder heads be heavy. Letting a sense of ease just wash over the body here. Relaxing the muscles in your scalp, the muscles around your eyes and mouth. Relaxing the muscles behind your ears. Letting that relaxation flow down the neck into the shoulders, down the arms, into the hands and fingers. Feel the body coming into stillness. Feel the body getting heavy with the relaxation. Enjoy your Shavasana.
feel free to pause the video to stay in Shavasana longer. And when you're ready, start to bring some deeper breaths back into the body and start to add some small movements to wake the physical body back up. You can start with turning the head side to side. fingers and your toes, making bigger movements, rolling out the wrists and ankles. That full body stretch might feel really good here, reaching the arms back and the feet forward. And maybe knees into the chest one more time, taking that massage on the low back. any other movements, or stretches, or poses that you want to take. And then we'll transition slowly off of your back, rolling over to your favorite side. Again, you can rest your head on your arm and bring your knees in towards your chest. And bringing that top hand to the mat in front of your belly, pressing into the hand to rise up and into a comfortable seat on your mat. Taking our final two things for the end of the yoga practice. The first is a quick gratitude practice. So if you'd like to join me, maybe close your eyes and bring to mind something or someone that you're grateful for. You can visualize them in your mind's eye. Then notice what you feel. Can you feel the emotions being generated by the gratitude practice? Maybe feeling warm and fuzzies around your heart center. You could bring a half smile or even a full smile to your face. Let's close this yoga practice. Bring your arms down by your sides. Reach them up overhead. Bring the palms together overhead, then down to heart center. May you have loving and kind thoughts towards yourself and towards others. May you speak loving and kind words towards yourself and towards others. And may you do loving and kind actions towards yourself and towards others. The light and love in me bows to the light and love in you. Namaste.